Well, thank you very much, Andrew Chamagra, and our audience. I am coming to you from the Directorate of Fisheries under the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry here in Entebbe. On a day, of course, when the Fisheries Protection Unit and the Fisheries Ministry have made efforts to impound uh, four trucks allegedly having immature fish inside them. And just like you can see, these are the trucks that have been brought here at uh, the Directorate, of course, by the Fisheries Protection Unit and the other enforcement teams from the Fisheries Fisheries uh, Directorate here. We well very know that these trucks were impounded from Kasese on transit to Congo, but uh, the allegations, the information we have had is that the Ministry of uh, Agriculture, Animal Industry and the Fisheries, together with the Fisheries Protection Unit, had intelligence information that the smugglers, the people smuggling fish from the country, were taking it to Kenya, then after, uh, get such trucks like an example and uh, take them to Congo, and the efforts were made to impound them up to this place here. The efforts that have been made, of course, the drivers to the uh, trucks ran away after the arrest and the uh, Minister of uh, Agriculture and Animal Industry and Fisheries is still looking for them. Actually, they still have seals from the Uganda Revenue Authority and yesterday the officials uh, from the authority were here to verify the authenticity of the seals that are there, whether they were forged or the real from uh, the authority. But of course, they're still waiting for information uh, from URA to confirm whether these seals were put by them or not. After also getting information that uh, some seals are forged. And uh, the ministry has gone ahead to also secure a court order, of course, to allow them open these trucks and verify, uh, see whether the fish inside there is immature or not. There have been efforts to uh, harmonize with the drivers of the trucks to come and just allow them open, verify what is inside there, but they are on the run. Perhaps an indication that the fish inside there is immature and what they try to fight. But this beautiful morning, to understand this more, I am joined by the fisheries inspector to the Minister of Agriculture, Animal in Industry and Fisheries, of course, to make us understand innocent Mugabe. On the other side, I also have the spokesperson to the Fisheries Protection Unit, Adeo Sentiva, and they all be speaking to us. I quickly start with the, uh, the fisheries inspector, Innocent Mudabi. Good morning and welcome to NTV. Good morning and morning viewers of NTV. Tell, tell us what happened before you impounded the trucks. Uh, we, we got uh, intelligence information from our sources that uh, there are people who are transporting uh, immature fish, uh, allegedly that they are from Kenya, but actually they are from our side of water bodies on Lake Victoria and Lake Choga. And also, we also had information that uh, there were trucks which claimed that are from Kenya, but they enter in the country when they are empty. But again, they fell fish, still they transported to Congo. So that was our basis that uh, was Yeah, foreign. upon the arrest, we understand the drivers ran away. Mm. Confirm to us, they ran away and still looking for them. Yes, uh, when our team intercepted this, these trucks in Impondwe, in Kasese district, uh, the, the, uh, the drivers, the drivers who were driving this car, the, the vehicles, immediately they vanished. And of course that alone uh, confirmed our, our suspicion. And uh, after f f uh, a series of engagements from the stakeholders, URA, and trying to get where they uh, were there. Uh, of course, we failed and uh, were able to use uh, our legal means to transport the trucks here. The conversations about uh, illegal um, issues, uh, illicit uh, trading and, of course, smuggling, it's a big conversation. Ivan Kamanawalnyol will be giving us more of that conversation a little later. Now, given that we are dealing with security a day in and day out, innovations around security and community policing are very fundamental. I'm now joined by my 